Aside from the organisms that have made a home on the land, many sea creatures use Green Island as a stopover point. Originating off the coast of Luzon in the Philippines, the Kuroshio and North Equatorial currents shift water of 20.1 degrees Celsius throughout the year at a rate of 7 to 9 kilometers per hour from the southeast to the north of the island. These warm waters carry in them a large variety of migratory and tropical fish species and a plethora of other ocean organisms. Blessed with these ocean currents, varied topography, coral reefs and abundant marine sediments, Green Island has become a focal point for oceanographers from around the world. Here, over 300 species of soft and hard coral are home to 54 families and 315 species of reef fish and numerous species of shrimp, crab and many other life forms. Although Green Island's coral reefs may not be quite as grand as Australia's Great Barrier Reef, they nevertheless boast a spectacular ecosystem that is a perfect miniature of their Australian counterpart. Off the western side of the island, the rounded mushroom head rears upward 20 meters underwater. It is a sacred site for researchers and divers. This giant piece of mushroom or parietes coral has been alive for 1,200 years. Standing 12 meters tall, mushroom head has a circumference of 31 meters. This is the largest single piece of living coral in the world and it continues to grow upward at a rate of one centimeter per year. Coral reefs grow very differently from trees in tropical rainforests. Microscopic symbiotic algae live inside the coral's tissue with the help of larger algae, the reef is able to accomplish its extraordinary feat of growth and a complex network of life is formed. Though Taiwan occupies a mere three one-thousandths of the Earth's surface, one-tenth of all the world's species of ocean organisms can be found in its seas and the waters around Green Island are by far Taiwan's richest.
The Kuroshio current has provided mankind with abundant resources for survival. Indeed, this life-giving ocean flow has served up many a sumptuous dish on the island's tidal flats. Due to the sharp volcanic terrain here, there is little arable land and irrigation is difficult. The people of Green Island have had little choice but to turn to the sea for sustenance. Offering prayers to the God of the sea for favorable weather and a safe passage is equally as important as developing good fishing skills. yet also put their lives on the line by taking on the sea. Being able to read the ocean's mood is vital. Low grey clouds rush by. The north wind stirs up the dark blue sea. For those who live off the sea, the song is romantic, but its subject is not. With strong winds raging for almost half the year, living off the sea around Green Island has never been a romantic affair. Indeed, here where the god of the sea lives, calm seas are preferred far and away driving passionate waves. <laughs> <laughs> 